President Trump announced Tuesday that he plans to sign an executive order ending birthright citizenship for the children of illegal aliens. And true to form, the left immediately flipped out. Here's why you shouldn't. Now, how ridiculous, we're the only country in the world where a person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it has to end. Some call them anchor babies. In legal circles, it's known as birthright citizenship, or the idea that just because you were born on U.S. soil, regardless of the legal status of your parents, you are automatically a U.S. citizen. Having a baby this way can help illegal alien parents avoid deportation or pave the way for their own legal status once their child reaches the age of 21. There are currently an estimated 4 million children living in the U.S. who are considered citizens but were born to illegal alien parents. In fact, it's common knowledge that many women from other countries regularly try to get across the southwest U.S. border before giving birth just so their children will be citizens of the United States. A few have even given birth on the U.S. bank of the Rio Grande. Other women come here on legal visas with the same goal. It's called maternity tourism, and much of it comes from China and Russia. This idea is rooted in one interpretation of the 14th Amendment, which states in part that all persons born or naturalized in the United States are automatically citizens. When it was ratified in 1866, the intent was to overturn Dred Scott and assure citizenship for former slaves. Except that that's not all that the 14th Amendment says. Here is the entire first sentence. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. And see, it's that second part that gets a little bit tricky. And subject to the jurisdiction thereof. Illegal aliens, by definition of being in the country illegally and by extension their children, are arguably not subject to the jurisdiction of the United States because the United States never said that they could be here. And the meaning of that phrase is not a given. In fact, the courts have already had to rule on its interpretation before. In 1898, the Supreme Court ruled that children born to permanent legal residents of the United States are, in fact, citizens. Why? Well, because they're subject to the jurisdiction of the U.S., and so are their legally present parents. But does that definition extend to children born to illegal aliens who shouldn't be here in the first place? Well, that's the age-old debate. And it's why an executive order rescinding birthright citizenship won't go anywhere without a Supreme Court ruling, which may be exactly what the Trump administration is aiming for. Some legal scholars believe you can get rid of birthright citizenship without changing the Constitution. With you an could... executive order? Exactly. Right. Uh, have you thought about that? Yes. Tell me more. It was always told to me that you needed a constitutional amendment. Right. Guess what? Amendment. You don't. You don't. Number one. Number one, you don't need that. Number two, I mean, that's in dispute. You could definitely that's very much in dispute. Well, you can definitely do it with an act of Congress. Issuing an executive order ending the anchor baby practice would instantly and unquestionably launch a long legal battle, forcing the courts to determine once and for all whether birthright citizenship is guaranteed under the 14th Amendment or not. If it is, then it would take a constitutional amendment to change it. If it's not, well, then that means that we've been handing out citizenship to a whole lot of people who had no legal right to it, which launches a whole other debate. The bottom line is this. No one, regardless of where you stand on this issue, should be freaking out right now. No one is losing their citizenship tomorrow. No one's putting babies in potato cannons and shooting them back to Tijuana. In fact, if you truly believe that birthright citizenship for illegal aliens' children is guaranteed in the 14th Amendment, you should be happy that an executive order like this could force the issue to SCOTUS so we can get a ruling on it once and for all, as it is a long-standing question worth answering. So the next time some progressive claims on Twitter that Trump is about to strip millions of people of their citizenship while running the U.S. Constitution through a shredder, politely suggest that they Google what the heck they're talking about before spouting off a bunch of fear-mongering nonsense. And maybe, while they're at it, that they read the second half of the 14th Amendment.